<laughs> Yo, I need to cancel my credit card. On the double, da da da, blah blah blah, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. where you at, where you at, where you at, here it is, boom, click it, just when you lose all hope, boom, here it is, making your agents productive with procedures and instructions in Zandas. So look, if you can see my screen, I'm already on a ticket, and in here, in the conversation bit, where a customer wants to cancel their credit cards, I have written procedures and instructions for my agents on how to do things, and look, I have auto assist turned on. By the way, this is only working for the Zendesk Copilot add-on. If you don't have it, it will not work. So look, I have my auto assist, which tells me like what I need to answer or what I can answer and I can approve or edit it or whatever. And then I have my instructions here. Look, so I'm telling the agents the steps that they need to follow, which have nothing to do with what I need to answer from the customer. Look, I click it and it uh, shows it to me here on the right hand side, which is, you know, log into the credit credit card management system, which is outside of Zendesk, and then search for the provided card with the last four digits, confirm whether they are blah, blah, and step number, blah, blah, and then complete it or not complete it. All right, so let's build this stuff from scratch. Let's go. So before I dive into this, let's answer a question like, why do I need this? Well, you need this because you want your agents to be productive. You want to cut the time that they spend in finding out how to do things with this stuff. They don't need to ask their colleague, like, how do I do this? How do I do that? Here it is. Even in the case of hiring new people, you just make sure that they follow these procedures and stuff won't go wrong or it makes it so that the agents make less mistakes. Even if they are beginners, milking of productivity and also making it fun. I mean, come on, everybody knows that AI releases mic drop stuff every time. So if you're still in a cloggy uh, old school system, they're gonna know and they're going to go away somewhere where the environment is more fun. So, you know, turnover is not good, meaning when your agents go away and then you have to hire somebody new and then you spend a lot of time integrating them and training them and blah, blah. Expensive, not lucrative, not cool. So why not just make them happy, pay them a decent wage and uh, eliminate the boring stuff from their work and make them focus on the really, you know, the juicy stuff, not the repetitive da 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 blah 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 stuff. There's a few steps to do this. We're going to create a procedure, we're going to create instructions, and we're going to create a trigger to enable auto assist for all tickets. Okay, in the four squares here at the top right, I'm going to go to knowledge and I'm going to go to uh, add here, this drop down, and I'm going to go to procedure. I'm going to create a procedure for canceling a credit card. So let me name it exactly that canceling a credit card request. All right, so I have my procedure already written out. I'm gonna paste it in here. I'm not going to uh, insist on uh, what it is going to do because it is pretty standard. So now I've added my procedure, okay? Step one done. Step two is to add instructions for the agent. Very important, and this is actually a very new feature. Look, so I'm in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go at the top and I'm going to uh, just create some space here. Just let me in, bro. And then I have this button here. As you can see this at the top here, insert instructions for the agent. Click it, boom, it creates this box for me. And then I paste my instructions in here. Uh, I'm just going to tidy it up a bit. Ta da da, log in. Uh, step number two, search for the provided card. And then step number three is confirm whether they are uh, pending transactions. And then step number four, if pending transactions exist, contact the billing team, blah, blah, blah. So these are my instructions to the agent that have nothing to do with what I need to answer the customer. This is the overall procedure, which involves Zendesk, it involves a backend, it involves talking to my boss, it involves whatever, right? That's dependent from business to business, niche to niche, etc. All right, so now from the bottom right in here, the blue stuff, I'm not gonna save the draft. I'm going to publish it directly. All right, so yes, please publish it. Boom, now this is published. And uh, I can uh, go here on the left, and if I scroll here in my content, where I see all of my content in my knowledge, I have here procedures, and here it is. Canceling a credit card, refund, good. Step number three is to enable the agent copilot to certain types of tickets. I'm going to enable it for all of them. How do I do this? Well, I just need to add a tag. Now, from my top right here, the four squares, I go to admin center, and then I go to objects and rules and then I go to 
triggers and then I go to here at the blue one on the right which just says create trigger I have to remember a very important tag I'm gonna call this trigger add and then gonna call it agent copilot enable this is the tag you have to remember this tag it's not something common it's found in the Zenus documentation for how to create procedures and how to enable agent copilot for some types of tickets because sometimes you don't want to use it all right add uh, agent copilot enable the two new tickets uh, so i'm adding it to everyone my advice is to create a trigger to make it as intuitive as possible add agent copilot enabled to cancellation requests or to finance department requests or to technical support or to English speaking tickets uh, so something very intuitive that if somebody just glances at it, it they know what the trigger is about all right so I need to choose a category and I'll choose set triggers because this sets a condition this sets some uh, properties to the ticket meet all conditions so I'm going to category call this ticket is created and then I'm going to say tags it does not contain this tag operator contains none of these tags look and i'm gonna do this agent copilot enable so if it doesn't contain this tag then add this tag that's all this trigger has to do now i go to actions and i'm gonna go to tags i'm going to add say, say add tags and uh put this one here agent copilot enabled i create the trigger and i'm done now as a fourth step as a bonus step i know that i'm boring you already but i have to do this it's my job as a consultant i'm going to go to ai and i'm going to go to copilot and i'm going to go to here to set up auto assist so this is uh, telling me what i actually have enabled and uh, i'm just going to go here and it gives me a bunch of documentation on what i need to do and this is where i got that tag from and this is where I, you know, you see how to add procedures and stuff. Hopefully this video helps with that. Uh, look, so Agent Copilot, and these are all the features that I have for Agent Copilot, and there's quite a lot. Auto Assist, which is this one we're focusing on. And then we have Summarize Conversations, which, uh, you know, summarizes the ticket for you. Suggest some replies, suggest uh, tickets to merge, similar tickets, so it finds that automatically you don't have to. And then it has this enhanced writing, like make it formal, make it friendly, tone of voice, friendly, formal, blah, blah, suggested macros. I didn't enable this. And then uh, quick answers. And then quick answers just to, you know, help me get give quick answers to the customers. All right, so now let's test this bad boy. Send an email, I'm going to say support at one of our emails in the test environment. Yo, I need to cancel my credit card on the double. What do you need from me, bro? All right, send this up. Now I'm gonna go back to Zendesk and I'm in here in my test account and I'm looking at unassigned tickets. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Where you at, where you at, where you at? All right, so it's not coming. Uh, let me refresh the screen. Ah, yo, I need to cancel. Here it is. Boom. Click it. All right. So let's see. Now, so auto assist is automatically turned on. And as you can see here, it's uh, you see in tags, agent copilot enabled. So this added my tag, that trigger added my tag. Look, so now the first step in the procedure, which is if you wanted me to cancel your credit card, could you kindly confirm your full name and last four digits of your credit card security verification? As you can see, the instructions that I added for the agent are not here, not yet. Why is that? It's because this is a smart thing. <laughs> First thing that the agent has to do is to ask the full name and blah, blah. After the, the customer adds these details, then come some internal processes that the agent has to perform. And that's when the instructions pop up. You'll see in a second. So look, I'm going to approve and send this to the customer. Now this in turn sends me an email back. Uh, so it's a waiting game. Let's wait again. And <laughs> here it is. Just when you lose all hope, Boom, here it is. All right, it came and it asked me for my full name and my four digits. All right, let me just reply to this. My full name is Dominic Brashovanu. Don't worry, you don't have to remember that. And my four digits are bomb, 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 bomb. Send. All right, back to the ticket. Uh, it already came, all good. Now, there was one thing that I don't like. I want this ticket if I spend too much time on it. Agent assistant like, <laughs> what do you do? And then you have to refresh it and it will go like <laughs> And uh, so we're gonna refresh it <laughs> Let's refresh the screen because it's fast asleep and uh, Doom look now boom here it is. So now the auto assist is nice and is nice and awake and it gives me the instructions uh, I can 
push this button to preview the instructions, da da da, which is great. It's it's very useful. And now you know it says uh, what I need to do as a next step. Of course, I approve. I say my next step to the customer. I know my instructions, and I'm good. Now this is great piece of technology from the agent copilot in Zendesk. I think this technology is here to help agents be productive. But not only that, is to eliminate the boring stuff from their job. And people don't like to do repetitive stuff. Yes, they can do it seven times, but the eighth time is going to be like, kill me now. And uh, nobody wants to go to work in pleasure, doing that with pleasure. Obviously, there's other stuff that needs to fall into place to keep somebody happy, to, you know, keep them from going somewhere else, uh, which is a good wage and uh, good leadership. And uh, I don't know, 43 other things, which I'm not going to mention now because I also don't have the expertise of an HR person. But as somebody who runs a customer experience agency of 10 people, yeah these things matter and these things are very important by the way my name is dominic i'm a customer experience guy i've been doing this for uh 12 years being as a nest consultant i've been in customer experience for 15 plus years i had no idea i was in that field and uh that's it for today i'll see you in the next one bye